Alright guys, check that out. That's the new radio I was talking about that I put in. It came in yesterday. It's made by Boss. It's, uh, let's see here. Uh, you probably can't see the screen, but it's got all kinds of features on it. All the radio stations I go back. I got radio, disc, hands-free. It's Bluetooth links right to my phone. It stores a call log. I can just select the log and hit the button and it plays right through the, uh, through the radio. It's got streaming for uh, music, things like that. I can swipe to the side. You can put an SD card in. It's got USB ports in the back, all the backup camera, jacks, all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to calendar. I can program stuff in there and store dates. Um, it's got a calculator. I can click on that if I want um, and use the calculator, all that stuff. And then uh, doo -doo -doo, that's all the fancy stuff in there. Um, but uh, yeah, I can go right to disc and I can play a movie on there. Um, a lot of these radios are set up so that you have to put it, uh, you have to link it to a parking brake. And then uh, you got to put the parking brake on, off and then on again and then it'll work well i just run that wire right to a ground and uh it works all the time you don't have to do that i can plug my phone in uh, from the cable right into the headphone jack there and then put youtube on my phone and uh put it right on there but uh but yeah or i can just hit that right there make it go back in and it's got the screen there okay anyway i just wanted to show you guys that real quick and now on to my hand there for a second oh uh, let's see here on to something else hang on a second i just gotta put i use a little piece of one of my business cards in the front of this thing because i need to change the mount out on the bottom of this camera but it's kind of worn out so the camera bounces around anyway i just wanted to show you um this belt right here is the deck drive belt for the ferris 48 okay it's got a couple nicks taken out of it, a couple chunks out of it, rips in it and stuff. And look at this green one, Kevlar, much, much stronger than the black ones. Okay, now I'm going to cruise because i got to get on the move. But I'm going to tell you guys why I just showed you those. I just showed those to you because that deck belt i don't buy any of my belts from a dealer i don't buy any of my belts online usually none of that crap and i'll tell you why that deck drive belt it runs from the engine up to the deck okay and then there's a separate belt that runs all the uh, spindles all the pulleys on the on the deck itself that deck drive belt um i can't even find it on ebay putting the part number in um, I always check eBay first just to see what it's going to bring up. Um, but I can't even find it on eBay, putting the part number in. It doesn't list it. But I go to, I just punch it into Google, and then it brings up a bunch of other people that sell that belt. Okay? Like it has, like what I showed you guys yesterday, the, um, I showed you guys yesterday in the video that website, keepemrunning.com out of Florida. Um, that I got the front casters for. Um, they list it. Um, there's Parts Direct listed. Um, who the hell else? You, right? They don't even have it on Ferris's actual website. Um, but uh, there, there's a bunch of places like that that list it um, all over the internet. Anyway, the point I'm getting to is... The cheapest I found that belt was $68.91, and they want like another $11 or $12 shipping on it, okay? And that's for the standard belt, the standard issue black belt, like I just showed you. $68, $12 shipping. What I do with my belts, um, I always run a backup belt, or I always have a backup belt. It's... You guys, if you don't have backup belts for your mowers, you're a fool because they're going to break. It's a matter of time. And even if they don't break, they get stretched out. You only use them for so long when they get stretched out. And I know you can keep adjusting the adjusters on, on a lot of those belts, but um, you, you guys got to replace them. Once they're stretched out and they lose their strength, you know, it's not spinning everything as fast as it should be. And you're losing the performance of the machine. Um, but belts are very, very important. So anyway, all, all your mowers you run, all your belts you have, you should have a backup. So what I do 
is, like I said, $68.91 is the cheapest. And oh, it went up from there. Some places wanted like 74 bucks for that freaking belt. And like I said, it's just the black standard issue belt that comes on it. What I like to run are, like I showed you, these green ones. These green belts, they're actually Kevlar. That's what they're made of. They're Kevlar belts. They're industrial grade, heavy duty belts. They're 10 times stronger than those black ones. Um, but, uh, so I go to Napa, and I'm sure there's other parts stores that you can go to if you don't have a Napa in your area. I'm pretty sure everybody's got a Napa, but uh, I could be wrong. But I go to Napa, and I take the belt there. Before the belts even break, I take it up there. say, measure this out. I want another belt just like it, and I want it in the Kevlar. I don't want the black one. Only one time have they had to order one for me. They said, we don't have it, but we can get it. No problem. We'll have it like by tomorrow by noon or whatever it was. Um, but they usually stock them all. So, uh, so anyway, for that heavy-duty Kevlar belt, the same one, with tax out the door, I paid thirty-eight dollars. What the hell was it? Thirty-eight dollars and seventeen cents, or something. It was. So I got the same exact size belt, only I got it in the industrial strength Kevlar, not the cheap black one that comes on them. And I paid thirty-eight dollars and seventeen cents out the freaking door. I went versus the sixty-eight ninety-one in twelve dollars shipping, fifteen, whatever the hell the shipping was, twelve dollars on it, whatever the hell it was. Um, so. I paid far less for the freaking belt, and I got a much heavier duty belt. That's that's my recommendation to you guys. That's what you should do. I don't go to dealers for belts. I don't, they mark them damn things up so bad, and you know, and I learned my lesson a long time ago when I went into one, and uh, and they said uh, we got the black the black belt. It's a real heavy duty belt. And, uh, and I was like, wait a minute, you know, I've seen green belts on mowers before, and I'm pretty sure when I looked them up, they were Kevlar, they were industrial strength type belts. So I was in Napa a little while later, and I was talking to a buddy of mine that works there, and I said, I was telling him what happened, he goes, dude, I can get you all those belts. Napa, Napa can get you any belt you need. Even if we don't have it, we can order it. We can get you any belt you need. You know, I was like, really? So that's when I learned my lesson there and like I said for less than half the freaking price he got me the industrial one which they last 10 times longer they don't stretch out as easy they don't start ripping shredding chunks out of them that none of that crap you know I mean it, it's gonna happen eventually but not nearly as fast or as easy as the regular black ones so anyway that's my advice to you guys you need belts for your mowers if you don't already have backup belts for your mowers don't wait till it snaps because chances are a lot of times when they snap like that chunks of it actually comes out and they go flying and then when you take it in to a place to measure it up um it's usually not the same length as it should be anyway um so my suggestion to you is now before your belt shred take it off the mower run it out there. Belts come off easy. Sometimes it's a little finagling, figuring out what moves where, but almost every one of them have a tensioner pulley. Loosen the tensioner pulley, the belt will come right off. Um, so take the belts off, take them up to your, take them to your local Napa or, you know, wherever you guys like to go for your parts and stuff and just ask them, can you guys get this in the industrial belt, the green Kevlar ones? Can you get it in the industrial belt? How much is it? I, I think you'll be surprised on the difference. Um, but it's a cheap way to always carry backup belts for, you know, when belts start costing 70, 80 bucks a belt, you know, it's not always easy to carry backups and you get into them kind of prices, but this is a better alternative and that's my suggestion to you guys. I'm out.